Okay, ready. On the ice-blasted expanses of the Hyperborean wastelands, heavy metal was forged from unrelenting brutality. The blackest dark and the purest hatred the human mind can conceive. Ah! A brief history of metal. Metal music basically started in the late 60s, when hippie acid rock bands began cranking their amps up and stripping away psychedelic flourishes to make their music leaner and more physically punishing. While initially grouped with heavy blues bands like Cream and Led Zeppelin, within a few years it was apparent that groups like Blue Cheer, Vanilla Fudge, and Leaf Hound constituted a distinctive new movement in rock and roll. But if you want to point to one particular album as the birthplace of heavy metal, it would be the 1970s self-titled release by Birmingham, England's mighty Black Sabbath, where the band's odes to weed, the occult, and their hometown's grim industrial atmosphere crystallized the emerging genre's aims. Sabbath fucking rules! Still, even in its early years, the umbrella term heavy metal encompassed a remarkably diverse range of sounds and styles. Bands like Deep Purple and Mountain stayed relatively faithful to Acid Rock's blues-based formula while Motorhead and Budgie played stripped-down, high-speed rock that predicted the punk revolution still a few years away. The term heavy metal was thrown around so much that it was even applied to Kiss, a band that mostly played glam, pop, and disco. Kiss was never metal! For its first decade of existence, metal existed largely outside of the mainstream. That changed when metal emerged as the de facto sound for rock in the 80s. Metal's rise had two main causes. The new wave of British heavy metal bands like Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, and Def Leppard who figured out how to make metal slicker and more radio-friendly, and Van Halen, who pushed it all the way over into pop. Van Halen was never fucking metal! Together, Van Halen and the new wave of British heavy metal inspired one of the most profitable styles in rock history. Epitomized by Guns N' Roses, the Sunset Strip glam metal sound aimed for maximum accessibility while maintaining at least a surface-level veneer of occultism and sexual transgression. <laughs> Gross! Well, those posers were making records for normals, Real metal lurked in the murky depths of the underground. There, dark elder gods like Venom, Merciful Fate, Celtic Frost, and Bathory forged a template for extreme genres like death metal, black metal, thrash metal, child of metal, and hardcore, which would define the underground scene throughout the 80s. And we cannot forget the almighty Slayer, who reign in blood to this day and forever. But by the early 90s, Thrash's four big bands, Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, and Anthrax, had attained arena-filling status. During the 90s, metal branched out into a seemingly endless number of subgenres, from deep underground styles like Death Grind and Symphonic Metal, to the multi-platinum hip-hop-informed style termed yeah. New Metal, which would give the form its last bit of high-rotation MTV dominance. Yeah. But there is one style in this era that sticks out for its extreme sound and even more extreme lifestyle. Norwegian Black. True cult black metal, forged in the shadowy lands of the frostbitten north, and constructed in blood and fire. Despite its severe aesthetic and often problematic political identity, black metal emerged as one of the defining sounds of the era during which metal retreated back underground. Along the way, it crossbred with styles across the metal spectrum and beyond, creating subgenres like black and death metal, black and sludge, and black and roll. It even found its way into indie rock thanks to so-called post-metal bands like Death Heaven. Along with black metal, doom metal has become one of the defining sounds of the new millennium. Interestingly, doom's glacial riffage and obsession with weed and the occult bear a strong resemblance to some of metal's earliest bands. Like Ouroboros, the eternally self-eating snake, metal is both creation and destruction contained in perfect unity. Time is only an illusion. Metal is everything. Ah! And that's it. <gasps> oh my god, it's on fire! Uh-oh. We have to get out of here! Uh-oh.